Hi guys, this is Bet Your Mommy. Today I have another review, but it's not a toy review. This time it's um, it's a regular product review. And today I'll be talking about the Vida Sassoon Salonist. I have it right here. Ooh, too close. There you go. Um, okay, first and foremost, I got this for free. I did not purchase it. This. I got this for free from the Geek Company itself so that I can review it and let you guys know. Oops, I keep forgetting, I have to look over here. And just let you guys know my experience with it. Um, and that's why I have this mess going on. Um, this is a picture that I took right before. Um, that's like the before picture. It's this one here. As you can see, I have like, I have a mess. Um, I had the, I have my roots. I have the middle color and I have my end colors. I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh. My mess, I just remembered I didn't detangle my hair, so let's see. I should have detangled my hair. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this real good, but let me see. I'm gonna see if I can, excuse me. Sorry about my dogs. I'm out. Baby's napping again, so, okay. So I don't know if you can see this really well. I'm gonna put my picture up just in case. Um, I have my root color. It's like a very dark brown. And then in the middle here, you can see it gets a little lighter. I have like this um, homemade, <laughs> homemade ombre effect. Um, then here, this is another color that I had dyed before. And then my ends, I know, they're absolutely horrible. Um, I had my... Um, how do you say the ends? I had them dyed. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pull back. I had them dyed purple. Um, I thought it was really cute. Actually, it did look really cute. Um, but then I just got lazy, the truth, and you know, broke. <laughs> now, I'm mostly lazy, to be completely honest. Um, so I just let the purple grow out, and the purple, it, it's what's well, not this one. Um, it turned sort of like into, I don't know if you've had purple hair before but you know it starts fading and it just turned into like this green kind of color and green is actually my favorite color I also like purple which is why I dyed it purple because I'm always going for green because it's my number one color um, so I'm like let me just do purple so I did the purple and then it started um, fading and it just turned into this green color and I'm like, oh, you know what I like it I, I worked so much for such a long time and in places that maybe it wasn't okay to have per so once I stopped working I'm like yeah I'm gonna do an experiment experiment with my hair whatever I want um so then after I did the purple then the purple started fading out and it turned this green and I'm like okay this kind of cute but then it stopped looking cute because then it just it just turned into this and admittedly I do know I have to you don't need to tell me I do not have to cut my ends really horrible um so I was gonna dye my hair um when I got news of this product and I'm like you know what let me just try it out um, just to see how it goes now if, if this Solanist product you know fixes all of this then I'm probably gonna stick with them um, I do know though that I that I have to that I, mean, I have to cut my ends there is there's no there's no product in the world that can do anything with my ends so let's just look at it again look at this mess oh my god I can't <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So I'm just gonna pull up my hair because I want to open up the box and see what comes inside. It is I did read on it, and it's a two-step process where you have to like brush your roots. Um, you do the roots first, and then you do the like the rest of the hair. Um, they have a bunch of different colors. I checked it out. Um, they have my. I, I, well, many, 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 many years I've dyed my hair red. It's my favorite. I mean, what's her name? Um, Emma Stone, I think it is. Uh, the girl that comes out in super bad. And I, I, first of all, I think she's so cute. But her red, I love the red. I also love the red on uh, Phoenix and the X Men movies. Oh, I love it. So red has always been my go-to color. Um, I was, um, I had this color, which is like old brown. Brown, what is it? Six slash three. I wanted to choose this color because between the color choices that I was given, this is the one that, that I liked um, the most. But then looking on their website, I saw that it had this awesome red. So I don't know. So let's see what we have in here. 
Um, okay, so we have, this is the color preserving conditioner. Okay, so I know this is going to be the last set. We have this little tube called One Rich Color Cream, number one, Rich Color Cream. It's like this one. The color activating lotion. And okay, this is two, the Vidal Sassoon Serum. Now what I like about this is that, look at this, isn't this adorable? Handy little bowl with the brush and everything. I have my own, I, I have disposable bowls, I know it's horrible. Um, I'm usually green about stuff like that, but I just have disposable bowls. Um, and I, I do have my brush, but I like it that this one, oh, it's a little bendy, it bent over a little bit. Um, I do like that this one came with the brush and the bowl. I think the bowl is adorable. What else? Oh, it also, oh my god. It came with these nice rubber gloves. It's not those plastic, you know, the ones I'm talking about, the plastic gloves that they come stuck on the instruction and then the way I do it, I just stick my hand in through the glove and then I rip it out the instruction set, uh, instruction paper. So, okay, so you get all of this. Basically, this is everything you need. You don't need the little... You don't need to add anything else to it. Okay, let's open up. Well, these are really sealed well. Instructions are sealed well. All right, so let's see. Let me see how this goes. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not really that great with instructions. It depends. I know that's wrong. I mean, for me, baby, I do everything by the book. But then sometimes I just, when it's for me, I'm just. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so, okay, these are the instructions, wow. Okay, so it says, step one, brush your roots. Now it says, oh, that is so cute. On the bowl here, you see this little line right here? So that is the three-fourth marking on the bowl. Now it says that you are going to use three-fourths three -fourths of the mix. For most shades, you know, leave it on 20 minutes, only for the lightest blonde shades, wait 30, blah, 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 blah. And then you use the remaining one-fourth of the mix, which would be this part here, um, along with the serum. I'm just like reading it and I'm sorry. It says must read, I know. And then you smooth it out through the length. And you leave it for 10 minutes. Okay, so we have it. Um, I guess I'll be doing this. <laughs> now, I'm gonna be fast forwarding this because I do want you to see everything and how horrible <laughs> I am at doing and following instructions. I have my little, um, we didn't fit, I have a small bathroom and we didn't fit, like all, all of you guys and me. We don't fit in the bathroom, so. I am, as you can see, in my hallway. So, nothing. I'm gonna get this done. I'm going to turn you down just so that you can see the prepping. All right, I hope the camera doesn't fall. How am I gonna turn you down? Anyways, let's see how we can do this. This is fairly easy. I mean, I'm not really a, a you know, gentle. With, it's not really a virtue when it comes to my own stuff. So, okay, it still has a couple of lumps, but I'm trying to smooth these down. Now it does say asterisk. Color of rich color cream formula does not indicate final color results. If it did, I would be like carrot. What is it? Carrot top? Although maybe if I were to get this orange with my dark brown hair to get a nice red. I mean not like a red but like a deep. What is it? Like an auburn color and not so orangey. I do see that it looks like uh, 
you know the little lumps that you want when you're making homemade pancakes so I'm gonna mix it in a little more and as I'm mixing I just remembered that I'm supposed to detangle my hair first um, luckily it shouldn't be too knotted I mean you curly hair girls know what I mean so getting a little smoother so I am going to put this next right there so it does say to brush my roots begin with the center part and then the hairline making one half inch parts using the tip of the brush and paint the roots until covered for the back first paint the hairline then 46 parts using the brush and your fingers to feel where to paint. Massage the cream into the roots to ensure optimal coverage. I think that is, oops, I see there's a, like a lump back there. So, you know, it's really not that. I guess I, I guess it depends how this goes. But usually, I'm not gonna lie. I'm the uh, stick it all in a bottle, <laughs> stick it all in a bottle, shake, and you know, do your thing. But let's see how this goes. The smell is really not bad, so I do like that part already. All right, so I'm gonna excuse me, guys, while I go do something with my hair. Let me go get my uh, my detangling brush. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what they do show you here, I feel like Dexter all of a sudden, but what they do show you is this cute girl, you know, with, you know, cute short hair, doing her, getting her by. Um, you know, this is not cute and short. So, I am, whew, let's do this, right? Okay, so I'm going to grab this. I have no idea where my pins are. Now what is cool is that I don't need to get up. I can just try to use you guys here to get this done. Oh my goodness. All right, so it says make half inch part and then just paint the roots until covered. Then we're gonna do that all the way to the back. And then we're gonna massage it in. This is going to be I know I should cut my hair. I mean, it's so hot where I live that I'm always thinking about cutting my hair. But I'm so, I'll make like a decision or something. Like I'm like, I'll be like, oh, I want to cut my hair. <laughs> and then, you know, not even cutting my hair. And then I'm like, oh God, never mind. I don't want to cut my hair. Because what am I going to do with short curly hair? I mean, it's going to take... At least now I can just stick it up in a ponytail or maybe it'll be easier to hide it under a wig, I guess, but, um, you know, I, I, I like having my curls and, oops, excuse the dogs, as always, I like having my curls and, um, you know, whatnot. It's just that most of the time, since I'm a professional pedestrian, um, it's just too damn hot. And so I always end up having my my hair in, in a uh, in you know in one of these. Shh. Sorry. My dogs they see me, I have them outside, they see me and they think it's playtime or something, I know. Alright, so Alright. Well, we did this, so then now let's let this go. And did I, st I stuck this back in here? Such a dummy. Oh, after I separated it. <laughs> there you go. See, this is why I get lazy. Lorda, Lorda, Lorda. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. So, let's do this. Okay, so you can see from this awesomeness right there, I did my um, long roots. 
And now, let me see if I can get all of this. I'm sorry, but I had to leave because I thought I can do it like this, but um, I just could not see, so I had to run and do it in my bathroom. Um, I put everything back in the bowl. Well, I didn't put everything back in the bowl. I put the lid on the bowl. Um, in the instructions, it says that once you get the mixture, like you saw that orange and you smooth it out, you know, get the pancake um, <laughs> type of uh, lumps out. Now it says, can you see it? Okay, I'm going to turn it. I showed you this before, but you can also see it right here. So once you have it, once you have the mixture out, use three fourths for the roots, which is what I was doing now. I did notice though that it's just something that, you know, ran across my mind. For example, this is just an example. Let's say completely it fills up to this line right here. I mean, it doesn't, it's not that much. Um, but let's say we're to fill up to this line right here. So you know that this is the three fourths, which you're going to use for the roots, because then this is what you're going to use for the, the rest of the hair. But as you're scooping it out with the brush, or you're taking with the brush and doing your roots, it's not going to stay level. So it's going to keep going like that, whatever. And so this one fourth, you know what I mean? It's not the same amount. Um, I did try to eyeball it. I was halfway through my back when I realized, wait, how high was it before? So I was trying to like, crap, how high was it before, you know, to get that one fourth for the length of my hair. I have, um, I have long hair, um, kind of a lot. I mean, it's not that much. I know there are a lot of women with much, much more hair than I do, but, um, I hope this one box is gonna be enough. I'm not sure. Usually I get two boxes and I always end up using like one and a half. And then the rest I'm just, I don't need it, but I'm just applying it on anyways because I'm not gonna throw that away. I mean, it's probably not gonna do anything, but you know, usually one box I always end up with sort of like, I, I call it like dry hair, you know, like you get the uh, hair coloring on, the dye on, but then you have. I don't know, it just feels dry. When I dye my hair, I like to feel it wet. I like to feel that that I got every inch of my, my head. Um, so, you know, I kept doing my, my roots, just, you know, soaking them in and whatever, and then I realized, crap, it's one-fourth of the little bowl, but how high was it? I don't remember. So hopefully, when I add the serum in and I'm ready to do my my the rest of the hair, then hopefully it'll it'll come out I mean it's gonna come out better than it looked before anyways but hopefully it'll come out right and even um, I don't mind a little ombre anyways <laughs> but yeah so that was the one of the things that I noticed while I was doing my hair um, another thing that I noticed was that I was in the bathroom and usually I'm running out to um, there's a window there but it doesn't do much I have a sucky bathroom <laughs> Um, so usually I'm running out to like to the fan to just get some air and, and I didn't have to run out. It is as it's you know your regular um, paradigm chemical smell, but it's not like a strong oh my god I'm suffocating smell. Um, you know I I'm not high, I'm not <laughs> not dizzy. So that was a plus for it. Um, you know it's 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 not a strong chemical smell. Um, let's see what else did I notice? No, I think those were the two things that sort of measuring out the three-fourths. I mean, maybe, I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a DA. <laughs> I'm a little da da So, I guess, I, I mean, I read it twice. I, I read it with you guys, and then I read it once again, and I, I was aware of it, but I just, I don't know, it just went right over me. Didn't realize it was too late. There's not, I mean, there's, there's a bit still in there hope it's enough um, but nothing so now I'm gonna wait 20 minutes I'm gonna go I have some laundry in the washing machine so I'm gonna do that and I will see you guys later it's been 20 well it, it hasn't been 20 minutes it's been a little over 20 minutes probably about 30 or so maybe a little less um, I 
did the laundry but then the baby woke up. I don't know if you hear the TV in the background. I'm trying to distract them before I do this, while I do this. So I did a little nursing. And so now I'm on to step two. I need to get this open. Having a little bit of difficulty, you know. Possibly because I have, see I'm trying to follow the instructions like exactly and says put your gloves on and then, oh, that's no, not working. And put crapola, mother flower. Yes, I'm trying to clean my mouth. Nope, I'm gonna have to go get some scissors. Be right back. Okay, so got step two out. I'm gonna pour, this is like a clear, you see? I'm gonna pour this in here. Then I'm going to, I have to leave again to do this, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Ay, boy, me, boy. I'm gonna mix this up with what I have in the bowl. Once it's mixed up, I'm going to apply it to the rest of my hair, just thoroughly, and leave that on. He's screaming booby, I have to leave again. Um, this is gonna have to wait. Uh, leave it on for 10 minutes. So let's see how that goes. I left it on for 10 minutes, I'm gonna shampoo it off. They do recommend using a color safe shampoo. I don't have one, so I'm going to be, sorry over here. <laughs> so I'm gonna be shampooing it with my regular shampoo. Then I'm gonna be using this little tube right here that they include. It is a color preserving conditioner. It's a, you can do this, it's a weekly treatment that you can get done. Ya vienes otra vez, oh he's coming again. Um, uh, it's a weekly treatment, there's enough here for, it says for six, six treatments. Um, it's just a preserving conditioner, you leave it on for two minutes and you rinse. So I'm going to be doing this and again I'll be back. I went ahead and got my hair done. Um, it totally evened out the, I don't know if you remember, I have, I'm going to put some pictures up, but I had the roots, like my regular color, and then the middle of the hair, a different color, I had this little <laughs> DIY messed up ombre effect going on, um, but it did even out everything. Um, I went ahead, here are some pictures first, this is what it looked like after I did the hair coloring. Before I cut my ends, as you can see, the ends, I mean, the ends I knew they had to be cut off anyway. Um, but as you can see, it kind of evened out everything. Um, and it did darken the ends a little bit. Okay, so, and here I just completely cut off my, my ends. I Years ago, I don't know, I guess I was just really frustrated. I mean, this was before I, I was a mom. Um, I was just working a lot and just issues and and one day I just caught myself in the bathroom and I saw the scissors and I just took the scissors and I cut, chopping off my hair and I, I felt so at the end of it. First of all, it was like the whole experience of chopping off my hair was like this totally free. <laughs> I felt so free and then at the end my hair was like because I don't know how to cut hair. Um, oh my gosh. Um, but it was, it, it actually felt good. It was like just getting all that out um, but then you know when I started cutting my ends you know, I started doing it properly and whatever but then you know when I did this I just went ahead and chopped again it's I don't recommend it like if you have I don't know you need to look proper um, I don't have to look proper I, I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom I look however the crap I want <laughs> so I just went ahead and chopped off all those ends and then I just I went Edward scissor hands on it and it's okay I, I like it I just feel it feels like first of all my hair feels lighter I mean the color with this salonist thing I really like the way it looks I am gonna do the salonist again I'm going to be completely honest I want to show you again I had the six slash three light gold brown this is the one that I had made um, I am going to do the Solanus thing again, except I'm going to probably go for the red. I'm going to post a picture up of the red. Isn't that an awesome looking red? I love it. So, again, just to touch up on the, on, right, what I think about it. The process, I especially like it because it was pretty easy. Um, that bowl thing with the three fourth and one fourth, you know, you have you do have to keep an eye on that, especially if you're a little like I am. And I 
I, I like doing my, I'm a stay at home mom, you know, no time for that other stuff. So I do like, you know, doing it at home and I do like the whole process of it. It wasn't, I thought it was going to be like, I, I thought it was just going to, I know it says just two steps, but I thought it was going to be something. I guess complicated and it really wasn't it was super easy I mean they have everything in the box everything's included right in the box I mean and then I just I used everything up and I'm just gonna so I can just throw the whole thing away um, I'm not throwing away the brush <laughs> or the gloves <laughs> I can use that for crafting I need I need gloves anyways because mines are breaking for my polymer clay and um, I really like the product. It was that I, if there's any one thing I would say that I don't like about the product was that it, it's just that you have to keep your eye out on eye on how much product you have in the bowl so that then you can measure it. Okay, yeah, three fourths and one fourth. Because as I'm smushing around like this with the brush, I'm just it just doesn't even out. But either way, I mean, can, can you tell? <laughs> The color is this the uh how do you say it? see so oh, i'm being called off again i want to be that's so i'm gonna let you guys go um i am being called as you can hear um but i'm gonna leave some links on the bottom just in case you can't find it right away you can buy it online i want me santo and i'll see you guys next time <laughs> oh i give it i give it a uh, a cupcake with the frosting and no sprinkles because of the bowl thing, but still it's a pretty good. Gotta go. Bye, bye, bye.